Hello everyone, welcome back to Nitro Addict Channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to crochet the lacy sweater top. This top is fairly easy to make and I have free written pattern for sizes extra small, go up to double XL, it's available on my blog. But if you prefer the PDF pinnable version, it's available for purchase on my Etsy, Ravelry and Love Crafts. I will put all the links in the description below. In the picture here, I'm wearing size small and also in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you in size small. I hope you enjoy and let's get started. Here is the materials that I use for this project. For this project, I use ice yarn. Summertime. This is size 3 lightweight DK yarn. 79% cotton and 21% viscose. In each bar is half 123 meter. It is about 134 yards per ball. This one in color olive. You can substitute yarn as well. Just look for size 3 lightweight DK yarn and then check the gate before you start your project. And for size small, I use about 780 yards. So for this yarn, this kind of yarn, ice yarn summertime, they sell by pack. In one pack, it has six balls. Okay? So for size small, I use almost the whole six ball. I have a little bit left. Every size is different. Just check your side. All right. <laughs> Crochet hook, size 5 millimeter. Scissors, yarn needle, and stitch markers. Before we start, I just want to talk about this pattern a little bit. For this crochet top pattern, I use the drunken granny stitch for that. And I also have step-by-step -step video tutorial how to make this drunken granny stitch. If you want to check it out, I'll put the link in the description below. So, for this top pattern, we're going to make a multiple of 5 plus 4 chains. If you don't know what is multiple of 5 plus 4, so you're going to make 5 chains, 5 chain, 5 chain, 5 chain, 5 chains. And at the end, you're going to add 4 more chains. And I will tell you exactly how many chains that I made. Don't worry. This is one row repeat. It's very, very easy. And let's talk about the gate here. I make a little swatch of this drunken granny stitch and then I block it. So I put in the warm water, not too warm, and then squeeze the water out and let it dry on the floor. And then I measure the gate after that. So for the gate, it is three drunken granny stitches and six rows equal four inches. I will show you. So I have three double crochet, I have chain two and one double crochet all that count as one drunken granny stitch. So three of that equal four inches. So see here. I have one drunken granny stitch here. Two and three equal four inches. And then six rows equal four inches. So I have one row here. Two three, four, five, and six. Six rows equal four inches. It's very, very important for you to make a gate swatch before you make your project. Because like, if you wanna substitute yarn, you can do that as well. Just make sure to make a gate. Make sure you have the same gate or as close as the gate that I have as possible. All right, <laughs> I hope all that makes sense. Okay. And for this pattern, we're going to make two panels, exactly the same. And we're going to start make the chain this way. We work from the bottom up. We make the chain this way, just for the body part. And then we're going to crochet back and forth until we reach the length that we want before we make the sleeve. And then after that, we're going to make the chain this way and then the chain this way to make a sleeve. And then after that, we're going to crochet the sleeve and then the body as we go this way. And then at the end, we're going to leave a long tail, enough to sew the shoulder and then the top of the sleeve together on the back panel here. 
So yeah, both panels make exactly the same. And then after we have two panels, we are gonna lay them like this, and then we are gonna use the long tail that we left earlier to sew the shoulder and then the top sleeve together here on the wrong side. And after that, we fold the sweater top in half, and we are gonna cut a new strand of yarn, and we are gonna uh, sew on the side seam and in the bottom of the sleeve here. That's it. Let's talk about the measurement here. All this just for size small. Okay, so the width of cloth, it is about 21.33 inches width. And in the length, it is about 16.66 inches long. Alright, I think I got everything here. Good luck. Okay, first, make a slip knot. Use any method you prefer for making a slip knot. And then make 84 chain loosely. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will be back when I have 84 chains. I have 84 chain here. And for row one, gonna be the right side. For an arc number row, gonna be the right side. For an even number row, gonna be the wrong side. So, row one, we're gonna skip five chain. And then that five chain that we're gonna skip is count as one double crochet and then chain two space. Okay? So, skip one, skip two, skip three, skip four, skip five. And then into the next chain, we're gonna make a drunken granny stitch. For the drunken granny stitch, you're gonna make three double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet, all into the same chain. It's called as one drunken granny stitch. Okay, so I skip five chain here, and then I yarn over my hook, insert the hook into the next chain there, but I insert my hook into the little bump on the back of the chain. You don't have to do that, totally up to you. Insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and make a double crochet. Yes, one. And then repeat that, yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and make a double crochet. Yes, two. And then yarn over, insert the hook into the same chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and make a double crochet. Three, and now when I have three double crochet, I'm gonna chain two. And then make one more double crochet into the same chain. Yarn over, insert the hook into the same chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and make a double crochet. So see, I have three double crochet. I have chain two, and I have one double crochet all into the same chain. It's called as one drunken granny stitch. Okay, so next, we're gonna skip four chain and make one drunken granny stitch into the next chain. So... I skip one, skip two, skip three, skip four. Into the next chain there, make a drunken granny stitch again. So start with three double crochet. Oops. Yes, one, two, and three. And then chain two. And then make one more double crochet into the same chain. Alright, we're gonna repeat that across. So next, repeat that, we skip four chain and make a drunken granny stitch into the next chain. So I skip one, two, three, four into the next chain there, make a drunken granny stitch. So start with three double crochet. One, two, and three. And then chain two, and then make one more double crochet into the same chain. All right, here's what it looks like so far. I show you one more time. Just repeat the same pattern. We're gonna skip four chain, and then into the next chain, we're gonna make a drunken granny stitch again. So, skip one, two, three, four. 
into the next chain there make a drunken granny stitch so start with three double crochet first one two and three and then chain two and then make one more double crochet into the same chain like that okay so far row one i have four drunken granny stitches all right just keep repeating this and next you're gonna skip four chain and make a drunken granny stitch into the next chain and repeat that skip four chain make a drunken granny stitch into the next chain keep repeating that until you have three chain left at the end and i will be back i will show you how to end the row one all right okay now i have three chain left at the end here and next i'm gonna skip the next two chain and i'm gonna make one double crochet into the last chain there so yarn over insert the hook into the last chain there yarn over put up a loop and make the last double crochet and at the end of row one i have a total of 16 drunken granny stitches across and for row two chain three one two and three the first three chains always count as one double crochet and then turn or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter and then into each two chain space we're gonna make a drunken granny stitch in there so this two chain space here make a drunken granny stitch so again we start with three double crochet yes one two and three and then chain two and make one more double crochet into the same space here is the first drunken granny stitch on row two and repeat that into each chain two space across so next space here make a drunken granny stitch again so start with three double crochet first yes one two and three and then chain two and then one more double crochet into the same space all right I show you one more time next chain two space there make a drunken granny stitch so start with three double crochet here's one two and three and then chain two and then make one more double crochet into the same space like that very very easy so far row two i have three drunken granny stitches so you can now make one drunken granny stitch into each two chain space across all right and i will end row two with you i'm at the end of row two here but i haven't made the last double crochet yet i just wanna show you how to do that so for the last double crochet make into the fifth chain there remember row one we skip five chain when we start so into that fifth chain we're gonna make the last double crochet there right here so yarn over insert the hook into that fifth chain yarn over put up a loop and make a double crochet like that and for row three we chain three and turn or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter and again the first three chains always count as one double crochet and into each two chain space we're gonna make a drunken granny stitch in there so here is the first chain two space we're gonna make drunken granny stitch start with three double crochet and then chain two and one more double crochet into the same space like that and then next space here make a drunken granny stitch so start with three double crochet and then chain two and make one more double crochet into the same space all right show you one more time next space here make a drunken granny stitch 
start with three double crochet. I'm pretty sure you know how to make it now, right? <laughs> and then chain two and one more double crochet into the same space like that. So far, row three, I have three drunken granny stitches. So you can now make one drunken granny stitch into each chain two space across and I will end row three with you. Okay, I'm at the end of row three here, but I haven't made the last double crochet yet. So for the last double crochet, we're gonna make into the third chain there. Okay, so yarn over, insert the hook into the third chain there, and make the last double crochet. We always gonna make the last double crochet into the third chain because the first three chains always count as one double crochet. And at the end of row 3, I have a total of 16 drunken granny stitch. And I forget to tell you, I'm sorry, at the end of row 2, I have the same 16 drunken granny stitches across. And from now on, before we make the sleeve, we're gonna have the same amount of these stitches because we're not increase or decrease. And for row 4 to row 12, I'm gonna repeat row 3 make exactly the same let me show you a few stitches on row four here let's say we're just gonna repeat row three so we chain three and turn and then make one drunken granny stitch into each chain two space across so the first space here make a drunken granny stitch start with three double crochet and then chain two and one more double crochet into the same space. This is the first drunken granny stitch on row four. And next chain two space here, make a drunken granny stitch. So start with three double crochet. And chain two, one more double crochet into the same space. Like that. Next space here, make a drunken granny stitch. Like that. Alright, I'm gonna keep repeating row 3 until I reach the end of row 12. And then after row 12, we're gonna start make a sleeve. So if you want a longer top, make more row before you start make the sleeve. Alright, I will be back when I'm at the end of row 12. I'm at the end of row 12 here and next we're gonna make the chain this side and this side for the sleeve. Let me explain a little bit here. Right now I'm right here just the body part and then next I'm gonna make the chain this side and then make the chain this side for the sleeve. If you want your top to be longer keep repeating row three more before you make the chain for the sleeve all right but for me i think 12 row is perfect and yeah <laughs> i hope that makes sense all right so this is the end of row 12 and then next i'm gonna make 44 chain loosely so one two three four 5, 41, 42, 43, 44. Okay, I have 44 chains. Here's what it looks like. And then next, I'm gonna cut the yarn. If you want a shorter sleeve or longer sleeve, you can do that as well. Just make sure you have a multiple of 5 plus 4 chains. Alright. I'm gonna cut the yarn here. I just leave a little bit of tail, just enough to weaving the end later. And then I pull the yarn out. And I'm done with this side. And next, I'm gonna insert my hook into this side, into the third chain there. Insert the hook there. And then bring the new yarn. Yarn over, pull up a loop. You also can tie a knot here as well. So I just gonna tie a knot just to make sure it's secure. Okay, I just tie a tie yarn here, and then I insert the hook into the same 
stitch and yarn over pull upper loop and now I gonna make 44 chains so 1 2 3 4 42 43 and 44 and next I gonna cut the yarn leave a little bit of tail just enough to weaving the end later and pull the yarn out like that and now we have the chain on both sides for the sleeve. And then now we're gonna turn the right side up. So I'm gonna turn the right side up. And now we're gonna uh, start crochet from here and then we're gonna crochet this way back and forth. We're gonna crochet the body and then the sleeve at the same time. All right. So I'm going to bring the new yarn here and then I'm going to insert the hook into the first chain there. Like that. Okay, first chain and then bring the new yarn. And then yarn over, pull up a loop. You can tie a knot here or later, totally up to you. And then I'm going to chain three. One, two, and three. The first three chains always count as one double crochet. And I'm gonna skip the next two chains. And then into the next chain, I'm gonna make a drunken granny stitch. So I yarn over my hook. I skip the next two chains, insert the hook into the next chain there. Remember, drunken granny stitch, we start with three double crochet. So here's one two and three and then chain two and make one more double crochet into the same chain like that all right and then skip four chain into the next chain make a drunken granny stitch so skip one two three and four into the next chain there, make a drunken granny stitch again. So start with three double crochet. One, two, three. And then chain two. One more double crochet into the same chain. And then you're gonna repeat that. Skip four chain into the next chain, make a drunken granny stitch. So skip one, two, three, and four. Into the next chain, make a drunken granny stitch. Like that. So this is row 13, okay? Sorry, forget to tell you. <laughs> All right. You're gonna keep repeating this. So next, you're gonna skip four chain, make a drunken granny stitch into the next chain. Keep repeating that until you reach the end of the chain here and then I will be back and I will show you how to continue crochet the body part here. All right, I will be back soon. Okay, now I reach the last chain of this sleeve here. Here's what this look like. And I have nine drunken granny stitches on this sleeve. Okay, and then next for the body, we're gonna continue exactly the same. When we make the body, we're gonna make one drunken granny stitch into each chain two space across. Okay, I'll show you. Here is the chain two space. Make a drunken granny stitch in there. Like that. Here is the next chain two space. Make a drunken granny stitch in there. that all right keep making one drunken granny stitch into each chain two space across 
and I will be back when I'm at the end here and I will show you how you can make a uh, drunken granny stitch on this sleeve chain. Alright, I will be back when I'm at the end here. Okay, now I'm at the end here and then next we're gonna make a drunken granny stitch into the first chain of this sleeve here, right here. Okay. So yarn over, insert the hook into that first chain of that sleeve and make a drunken granny stitch. And here's what it looks like. And next, skip four chain and make one drunken granny stitch into the next chain. So here's one, two, three, and four. Into the next chain there, make a drunken granny stitch. And then repeat that, skip four chain into the next chain. We're gonna make a drunken granny stitch again. So skip one, skip two, three, and four. Into the next chain there, make a drunken granny stitch. Like that. Here's what it looks like so far. So next, you're gonna skip four chain and make one drunken granny stitch into the next chain. Keep repeating this until you have three chain left at the end and I will be back. Okay, now I have three chain left at the end of row 13 here. To end the row, we're gonna skip the next two chain and make one double crochet into the last chain here. So yarn over hook, skip the next two, insert the hook into the last chain there. Okay, and make the last double crochet. Like that. Here's what it looks like. So in this sleeve, I have nine drunken granny stitches as well as this sleeve. So I have nine here, nine here, and then 16 on the body. So total of 34 drunken granny stitches across row 13. All right. So for row 14, we're gonna chain three. One, two, three, and then turn, or you can turn first and chain, doesn't matter. And the first three chains, always count as one double crochet. And we're gonna make one drunken granny stitch into each chain two space across. So here is the first chain two space. Make a drunken granny stitch in there. Oops. Okay, here's the next chain two space. Make a drunken granny stitch in there. Okay, here's what it looks like so far. Alright, keep making one drunken granny stitch into each chain two space across. And I will be back when I'm at the end of row 14 here. I'm at the end of row 14 here, but I haven't made the last double crochet yet. So for the last double crochet, we're going to make into the third chain there. So yarn over hook, insert the hook into the third chain there and make a last double crochet. And here's what it looks like. And at the end of row 14, I have the same. I have a total of 34 drunken granny stitches across because we not increase or decrease. And for row 15 to row 24, 
I gonna repeat row 14. Everything the same. And I will show you a few stitches on row 15 here. Like I said, we repeat row 14. So we chain 3 and turn. And make one drunken granny stitch into each chain 2 space across. So here's the first space. Make a drunken granny stitch in there. Next chain two spades here, make a drunken granny stitch in there. Next chain two spades here, make a drunken granny stitch in there. I go pretty fast because <laughs> I'm pretty sure you know how to make a drunken granny stitch. Just repeat the same pattern, okay? So yeah, I just gonna keep repeating row 14 until I reach the end of row 24 and I will be back and every row you're gonna have the same amount of these stitches because you're not gonna increase or decrease. Alright, good luck, I will be back soon. I'm at the end of row 24 here. Here's what it looks like. I know it's pretty big. Let me show you. Yeah. Here's the body. Here is the other sleeve. Okay. And next, we're gonna make row 25, which is the final row. And let me show you in this panel here. I already went ahead and made one panel here. So the final row is going to be this one. See, we double crochet here. And then when we come around the neck area, neck shape, we're going to make this. Very easy to make, don't worry. And here's the other side. Here's the end. All right. <laughs> So this is the end of row 24. For row 25, we're going to chain 3 and turn. And then we're going to make 5 double crochet into each of the next 13 spaces. So this is the first space. We're going to make 5 double crochet in there. So yarn over. Insert the hook into that first space and make a double crochet. So make five in their total. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, next space here, make five double crochet in there. One, Two, three, four, and five. And next space here, make five double crochet in there. One, oops, two, three, four, and five. See, you just gonna keep repeating this until you have um 13 spaces total so so far we have three spaces so you need to make five double crochet into the next 10 spaces so total of 13 spaces all right i will be back okay now after i make five double crochet into each 13 spaces here's what it looks like and next, we're going to make a neck area shape, okay? So to do that, I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, <laughs> and four. <laughs> and then into the next space, we're going to make a single crochet, pico, and single crochet all into the same space. 
So first, make a single crochet. So I insert the hook into the next space. Yarn over, pull up a loop. I have two loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through those two loops. That is the single crochet. And now we're gonna make pickle. Pickle, we chain three first. One, two, and three. And then slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that we did. So here the first chain that we did, turn on the back, you'll see the little bump on the back of that first chain there. Insert the hook there, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull it through. That is pickle. And now we're gonna make one more single crochet into the same space. So insert the hook into the same space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through those two loops. And here's what it looks like. And we're gonna repeat that into each of next seven spaces. So we're gonna chain four, one, two, three, four. And then into the next space, we're gonna make single crochet, pico, and single crochet. So make single crochet first, and then pico, pico with chain three, and slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that we did. Insert the hook, pull up a loop, and pull it through. And then make one more single crochet into the same space. Like that. And then repeat that. Chain 4. Into the next space, make a single crochet, pico, and single crochet. Do exactly the same. Like that. Repeat that, chain four. Oops, sorry. One, two, three, four. Into the next space, we're gonna make a single crochet, pico, and single crochet. And repeat that, chain four. Into the next space, we're gonna make single crochet, pico, and single crochet. And repeat that, chain four. Next space, make a single crochet, pico, and single crochet. Repeat that, chain four. Next space, make a single crochet, pico, and single crochet. Repeat that, chain four. Into the next space, make a single crochet, pico, and single crochet. And you will have a total of eight, I would say, groups of the pico stitches, okay? It's easier to understand and to see. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then after that, after you have eight groups of this pico, we're gonna chain four. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna make five double crochet into each. Two chain space across. So next space here, make five double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. Like that. Next space here, make five double crochet. One, two, three, four and five all right keep making five double crochet into each space across and i will be back when i'm at the end of row 25. i'm at the end of row 25 here 
but I haven't made the last double crochet yet. So for the last double crochet, you're gonna make into the third chain. Right here, okay? And now we're done. We just need to cut the yarn. I leave the tail about 30 to 40 inches long. Make sure that you have enough to sew the top sleeve and the shoulder here, this part, to the back panel or front panel, whatever, because two panels is make the same. So yeah, anyways, I leave about, I would say 40 inches. I just like to have extra. <laughs> and then after that, you're gonna pull the yarn out like that. And you're done. Let me show you finish. Look here. Here's the sleeve. Here's the body. See here the neck shape. And here is the other sleeve. Alright, you're gonna make one more of this panel exactly the same. Leave a long tail exactly the same. And after you have two panels, come back and I'll show you how to sew the panels together. Okay, next we're gonna sew the back and the front panel together at the shoulder seam and in the top of the sleeve here. And I'm gonna show you in the paper here just in case that you're not sure what's going on. So I will say this is my back panel. I lay my back panel like this. So this is the back panel and this is the front panel which is this one and I lay my front panel like this with the wrong side facing up because we're gonna sew on the wrong side. And we're gonna sew the top of the sleeve here and then the shoulder seam here together, right here. And then we're gonna use the yarn that we left, sorry, the tail that we left earlier to sew. And you can use any method you prefer. All right, so from this orange marker here all the way here, which is this part right at the shoulder, all right. I already went ahead and sew one side here and I will show you what it's like. See here, I already sew here. Here's what it looks like. This is the wrong side, okay? Here is the neck area. And we're gonna sew this side. Sorry, it's pretty big. <laughs> okay. So I have my yarn needle and then the tail ready to go. And then we're gonna sew the double crochet uh, together, the front and the back panel. Remember when we make five double crochet into each 13 spaces. So all of that double crochet, we're gonna sew together. All right, as you can see here. Okay, let me zoom in real quick. I have my tail come from the front panel here and it doesn't matter which panel you should to be the front or the back because they are the same. So yeah, I have the tail come from the front panel. I'm gonna insert my needle into the first stitch which is the third chain on the back panel there. Let me pull it out. And then I'm gonna insert into the first stitch here one more time and then insert into the third chain there one more time just to lock the yarn. And then I'm gonna insert into the next stitch. So I'm gonna insert into the back loop only. So I'll call that back loop. So see you see this V shape? This is the back loop. That's the front loop. I insert into the back loop only here and then back loop only there like that and then pull it out and then next stitch here back loop only next stitch there back loop only pull it out and again you can use any method you prefer you don't have to do like I did here but make sure you don't sew it too tight or too loose and then I'm gonna insert my needle into the next stitch there, back loop only, and then next stitch over there, back loop only. 
like that. That's what I'm gonna sew back and forth. Next stitch here, back loop only. Next stitch there, back loop only. All right, that's what I'm gonna sew. Show you a couple more times. Next stitch here, back loop only. Next stitch there, back loop only. Next stitch here, back loop only. Next stitch there, back loop only. All right. Here's what it looks like so far on the wrong side. And here is on the right side so far. All right, I'm going to keep sewing this method until I reach the stitch marker, which is the end of the double crochet stitches. All right, good luck. Okay, now I reach the stitch marker here, and then next, I'm just going to weave the end. So I'm just going to remove the stitch marker first, and then weave the end. Tie a knot. And then keep hiding the tail. Alright, just make sure it's secure and then you trim the tail and you're done. Uh, both sides sew exactly the same. Whatever method you use for this side, this side you're going to sew exactly the same. Alright, and then after we have this shoulder sewn, we're going to sew the side seam and then the bottom of the sleeve. So to do that, fold your top in half with the right side facing each other and we're going to sew on the wrong side. Again, it's kind of big. I'll show you in the paper here. So after we sew this shoulder and then the top of the sleeve here, and then before the top in half, right, with the right side facing each other. And now we're going to cut a new strand of yarn long enough to sew the side seam and then the bottom of the sleeve. And I cut about 60 inches long. So I'm going to start sew from the bottom of the side seam here all the way up until I reach the armpit. And then I'm going to continue sew the sleeve all the way down to the end. And then I'm going to cut the yarn and weave the end very easy and you can use any method you prefer i already cut my yarn here and then i can insert into my yarn needle and then start sewing i'm gonna turn this side a little bit so i can sew <laughs> all right here's the bottom i'm gonna insert my needle into the corner stitch there i call this the front panel and then insert into the corner stitch on the back panel there. Bring it up. And then I'm going to tie this later. And for this side seam, it's difficult to see a normal stitches because we sewed into the end of each row. So whatever you do, just make sure both sides are lined up and even. Alright, so I'm going to insert into the next stitch here, next stitch there, bring it out, and then next stitch here, and next stitch there, bring it out. And then next stitch here, next stitch there, bring it out like that. Sorry, it's kind of long tail. <laughs> Alright, next stitch here, and next stitch there, bring it out like that. I'm just gonna sew back and forth, very easy. Show you a couple more times. Next stitch here. And 
next stitch there like that and then bring it out and then next stitch here right here and next stitch there and bring it out like that okay here so it looks like so far this is the wrong side and here is the right side so far all right just keep sewing make sure both sides is even and lining up and don't sew too tight or too loose keep sewing until you reach the armpit and then you gonna continue sew the sleeve all the way down until the end and then at the end you can weave all the ends and you're done all right i will be back when i'm at the end here good luck okay after i sew the sleeve until the end i already weave the end i'm not gonna show you how to weave the end because i'm pretty sure you know how to weave the end right and after you're done with this side you're gonna sew the other side exactly the same and weave all the ends and you're done and now i have both sides sew and weave all my ends and then I already turned the right side out now, just to show you. That's it. Congratulations. It's very easy and very cute. I love it. I hope you enjoy making this crochet top. If you did, please give this video a big thumb up and share this video with your friends. And I would love to see everyone's work. If you want to share with me, just text me on Facebook or Instagram at knitcrowaddict. i also going to put all the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye-bye.